Uh, and our little town is not about, the whole county is about 3,600 people. So it's very small. Everybody knows everybody, which is very helpful because, you know, it doesn't separate them from a, just a black person that you do not know. Okay. So when Lyndon Johnson came with the Civil Rights Bill, Mama, in the summer, when she would go through the library and pick out the books that she could load up in the trunk of her car, and she would call the black librarian, and she would drive around to the back, and we would, I would help load the books in the black librarian's car to take to their school. Well, about that time, that's what made us integrate, forced integration. Well, it turns out that a lot of the black boys were seriously good athletes. And they went out for football, and we won five, six, many, many state championships in football with ha having this... Uh, larger group to play and what that did that as much as anything softened people's view on trying to look at them as different and we even had this is another thing we, there was a some a black person escaped from a prison in McCormick the little town next to us and ended up breaking in somebody's house and actually kill someone. So, and you know, it was just a terrible thing, but if he wasn't from Lincolnton and all that. And so the next thing we knew, the Ku Klux Klan came to town and thought they were gonna stir up pandemonium with us well they didn't stay but about 15 minutes because one of our football players and his black uh, fellow teammate he had happened to have a convertible the white guy did and so they <clears throat> they ride by with the top down of the convertible and go and go, hey, you know, jabbing at the Ku Klux Klan. <clears throat> and we were scared. We didn't know what these Klan people would do. And so one came in and kept lolling around. And so Billy came and came in and walked up to him and said, are you in here to buy something? And the guy kind of looked funny. He said, if you're not, you're taking up a parking space and you need to get out. Anyway, so the bottom line, they had to ring up no sale. Honey, they had to leave town. Nobody in the town supported them and resented them being there.